Two weeks ago, we put out a video talking about the issues at hand so that we could bring some light to things that were broken, bugged, whatever the case, and also let you know that no, you're not crazy. These things that you may be experiencing are actually bugged and or broken. Season one's introduction across all avenues of play, objectively, was a mess. So yes, this video is overdue, but playing on PC, apparently I got lucky because I haven't experienced the vast majority of these things that are wrong within Vanguard and Warzone. So truthfully, I just didn't have enough information nor enough experience to personally give any input on what is likely still a ton of issues within Vanguard and Warzone. Having not played a whole ton since the launch of Season 1 here, real life's getting hectic behind the scenes. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just didn't have enough information for it to not be a situation of that Simpsons meme of the old man yells at a cloud, where it just comes off as complaining to complain. And I guess the positive spin on that is that in that time that it's taken to compile this list of things here, a vast majority of these are already noted, acknowledged, and have been passed along through official channels with fixes coming in the works. Today, we're taking a look at a handful of these issues and talking a little bit about what's on deck in the future here for changes upcoming. So let's start out with the ones that I have actually experienced game crashes. This is one that in Warzone in particular, I've noticed that I'm crashing probably about every third or fourth or fifth game or something like that. It seems like it's random. I can't quite pinpoint what it might actually be. I don't know if it's a memory leak or anything like that, like we've seen in the past with other dev errors, but it is something that's crashing myself and usually my entire party at that point. You'll see that lobbies start with probably around 100 players. I don't know if that's just server side issues or if that's something where it's frequent game crashing to the point where a vast majority of the lobby, about 30% of it is actually crashing out. Don't know, but those are definitely issues you should be aware of. There are a ton of texture bugging and inability to load texture bugs right now. The ones that I've experienced here are basically just PS2 style graphics within Warzone. I only had that happen once or twice though. All I had to do is restart my game and it was something that would load back up at that point, sort of like it just wasn't loading the memory for it, but I don't know exactly what that fix is for. On other consoles are seeing like dev errors for PlayStation. The one that is incredibly perplexing to me is that Xbox Series Series X apparently has like in entirely wrong builds on it, i.e. the Xbox Series X apparently has the Series S build, the Series S apparently has the base Xbox One build, so I don't know how that gets lost in translation here for Vanguard and Warzone, so that's something that should be fixed out relatively soon. The demon bug and glitch is coming back here where the sort of artifacting on your weapon models, that is happening where it encapsulates like your entire character model and just makes you just giant blob of broken textures. That's back within Warzone and is being fixed on. From what I've heard, 120 FPS is actually bugged out on next generation consoles right now where it's either locked at 60 FPS or the option isn't there. I personally haven't seen this myself, but I've seen a lot of tweets incoming here to me that that is something that is an issue going on, which is incredibly curious, and I don't quite know how that even happens. One that I also have no idea how it happens, and truth be told, I just haven't experienced this because mine's been bugged for ages, is that Modern Warfare apparently is unplayable and won't actually boot up. It'll take you to the install sequence where you have to download and install these sort of designated packs for either campaign, multiplayer, or spec ops, and that's a huge one that definitely will have a fix coming and I hope that in the process of fixing this they also fix the issue that I've been having for months here in which there's been a PlayStation 5 install bug where even if you have all of the packs accessible you can't actually enter into multiplayer this alone I think could have warranted its own discussion here but again wasn't aware of it because I don't have it installed on PC where I primarily play and whenever I jump over and grab say menu footage while editing on PlayStation 5 it's just been bugged for me for months now so apologize that I didn't bring that one here a little bit earlier apparently there's also a gold flake error where it doesn't allow players that have free to play access into Warzone, where it says that you have to own it or something like that. Again, very limited information that I saw here with this, but incredibly strange that it's bugged out to that degree. There's a bunch of out of bounds bugs and wall breaches across Warzone and Vanguard. There's also a lot of spawn issues here, in which, especially on radar, I've seen ones where players are like spawning into the sort of radar array grid that is there and other geo that you can't quite get out of. Battle passes can appear to be bugged as well. This is something though that I think predates just season one because I was having an issue with this in the preseason where going back from PlayStation 5 to PC where I'm either playing on PC or grabbing menu footage on PlayStation whenever I'm editing so that I don't have to tab out of editing and go into PC and capture everything there. Even in the preseason it was saying that I didn't own the Battle Pass or I didn't own Vanguard or vice versa or something like that. So that's something that seems to be intermittent and pops up only from time to time. The tracking is still there whenever I go back it just is a matter
matter of displaying it properly at some various times so that'll be something that's resolved progression glitches as well your ranks your operator ranks your weapon xp sometimes isn't tracking properly here after season one there are plenty of visibility issues in both warzone and vanguard i've seen a lot of footage of players with invisible gun models or something like that within warzone and then personally first-hand experience i ended up seeing a constant skin that was actually bugged to the point where it was only just the floating head so that's something that will be fixed out as well likely operator skins again coming back to that that constance bug that we just mentioned also that new polina skin apparently doesn't display in the mvp screens double xp is apparently still bugged in terms of the percentage that you're actually yielding here from it there's a bunch of audio bugs as a result of not being set to system default in your audio settings party disbanding still happens and there's a ton more we could literally go on probably for like another 10 minutes here with this but i'll leave a link down there in the description below to a specific thread on reddit where there are a ton of vanguard issues so that's something that encompasses things that you might not even notice like the magazine descriptions for the cooper carbine and then other larger things that you probably have experienced but that said there has been official word in the meantime since season one has began where starting on the raven and warzone side of things they've acknowledged specifically on their trello board controller disc connect issues that are being tracked and worked on voice chat and audio problems such as intermittent audio drops and audio levels of some things in the world the continued maintenance screen popping up that won't allow players to play in caldera saying that the game is still in early access that it's going to be going live here at the certain date that it says even though we're past that date so that's something that's being looked into same with the xp gains being lower than intended though they actually did just already patch a bug where the top secret contracts allowed you to completely go from level one to seven on weapon levels in under an hour so kind of crappy that the over extensions was fixed immediately but they're also investigating those artifacting and demon bug glitches for players and the weapon models various performance issues on the playstation platform i.e that 120 frame dropout that's being investigated and a fix incoming same with crashing and stability those dev errors are being worked on so those things all have fixes coming on the vanguard and sledgehammer side of things they're of course tracking camo issues still we still have that m1 garand not tracking properly if you ended up ranking things within Warzone. The Panzerfaust still is not tracking. They ended up saying that they're going to be fixing the sort of difficulty of that aerial streak, not necessarily completely removing it, which hopefully they just change it entirely. I'd be totally cool if they do double and triple kills here with that, because even if you can manage to hit one of those, they don't track properly. So it is something that it's almost an impossible task to take down those aerial streaks. But even when you finally get it, they're not tracking properly for a lot of people. Seasonal challenges apparently being inconsistent with Vanguard, Cold War, and Warzone is being tracked and worked on. Care package physics is still being worked on. The continued packet burst is still being fixed. Texture glitches on various maps. Bullet penetration issues on Bokage. Spawns on Dome. Mortar barrage placement and other things here with that. So there is a lot of stuff that is in the works. But again, there's a lot missing here still on these Trello boards. Absolutely, there's still plenty of work to be done. However, one thing that is often overlooked, these Trello boards state that this is not a comprehensive list of everything that they're working on across Sledgehammer and Raven on the respective games. What's stated is just specific interests of the community and things that have been reported via that Trello board here. So if you guys want to make any issues that you have known, head over to those Trello boards, submit a report here, and it can be something that can be logged if it's something that they can pinpoint and they see as an actual issue here. So no, things like Modern Warfare's inability to launch isn't being tracked. Operator skin bugs aren't listed specifically. Some crashing errors haven't been named specifically, but I guarantee to you those fixes are coming so season one absolutely was a mess here in terms of its launch for a lot of players but again that positive spin here now a couple of days later is that we do know that a lot of these if not the majority if not all of these are being fixed out so that if your game is actually unplayable right now that should be fixed out in the relatively near future in terms of timing of these updates those bigger ticket items like game crashing those things that don't allow you to actually play the game those are going to be immediate releases they're not going to be something that's scheduled with a sort of content update of a mid-season update or anything like that so these can probably be coming sooner rather than later just keep an eye out on everything here so that said that's where we're at with this again apologies that this was not up sooner real life is just insanely hectic behind the scenes here and having not experienced a lot of this stuff myself whenever i have had very limited playtime post launch of caldera in season one i just hadn't had enough time to really see everything here at this and actually give you something that is comprehensive and is something that just isn't me bitching about the game hopefully to shed some light perhaps on some things that maybe aren't quite logged those things that i encounter those that i see i'll pass along via official channels even if it's not necessarily described here in this video if something big comes out 
three hours after this video goes live. I'll pass it along to where I can. So that said, that's going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this here? Have you guys experienced any other issues that we may not have talked about here in this video? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and want to stay up to date with all things Warzone, Vanguard, Season 1 content, anything COD related, we got you covered here on the channel. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button. But that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.